G'day. Now, there's been some discussion on Talk Graphics forums in regards to rounded, cornered photographs. So I thought I'd show you the way that I produce a single rounded, cornered photograph. I've just grabbed a picture from the clip art gallery there and dragged it onto the document. And what we need to take notice of is the width and the height of this photograph. And we can do that by selecting it and looking at the info bar where the width and the height in pixels are entered, which is 768 by 512. And I just put that figure there. Now, the reason we need that is because we're going to produce a clipping template to the same size, which has our rounded corners. So click the rectangle tool and draw any size rectangle initially on the page. We need to get rid of this line, this white line border, so I'll just remove that. Now, making sure that we stay with the rectangle tool selected and not the select tool, I'm going to double click one of these corner nodes to produce the radius on each of the four corners. Now, we need to stay within the rectangle tool because we're going to be changing the dimensions to match our photograph. If we do go to the select tool to change these dimensions, we'll end up with <coughs> distorted corners. They won't be true part of a circle anymore. So just in the info bar there, type 768 by 512. And that'll produce a rectangle, which is the same size as our photo. Now, we might not want the corners to be quite so... Uh, rounded. So we'll just grab one of the corner nodes there and just move it to a um, curvature that uh, that's more suitable. You you can you can put a value in there or you can just eyeball it like I do. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Once we've got that done, we'll just grab this rectangle, chuck it approximately over the top there and then send it to the back. Now you can do this with the keystroke control B or if you've got your toolbar set up in a similar way to I have, you can just select the icon to put to back. Now we need to align them so they match nicely, so we'll get the marquee and select them both, go to the object alignment tool, click in the center, apply, then we'll close that, get it out of the way. Now we've got both those objects neatly aligned to each other. Now the rectangle is behind the photograph, which has the cornered, uh, the rounded corners. So that's going to be our clipping template. So we'll make sure we select both those shapes. We can either press Q on the keyboard to clip it, or we can go to the Arrange menu and select Apply Clip View from there. And as you see, corners now are nicely rounded, exactly the same as the clipping template that we used. Now remember, of course, you can use any shape for the clipping template. It doesn't have to be a rounded rectangle. Now we might want a nice white border on that. And the easiest way to do that is to apply a line thickness to the border thickness that you want. Say for example 8 pixels. Now of course it's going to be black more often than not by default. To change this we need to go to the color line and right click on white and select set line color. That will then give you a white border. If it's still not wide enough, just increase the size here. Now if you don't want it as much as 16, if you want it more than 8 but less than 16, you can type the value in there, 12 pixels for example. And now you've got a nice white border. And there you have it. That's how to quickly put a round corner on a photograph. Thanks for watching.